What's up, guys? I hope you're all doing well, and thank you so much for popping in to my review for Moana 2. This is the highly anticipated animated sequel, which is not directed by the same directors of the first one, and this was supposed to be a Disney Plus series. This movie was supposed to be a season of a Disney Plus show, and you can feel that watching this film. The story is a natural continuation of the original Moana movie, which I think is one of the best Disney animated films, and at the end of this video, I will be sharing my top 10 best animated Disney classics, Disney animated studios films. So after the review, stay tuned for my top 10 Disney animated movies. But this film, like I said, you can tell that it was supposed to be a series, a season anyway. The way that the movie is paced, you can almost tell where an episode was going to end and where the next episode was going to start. It just feels like it was put together sort of at the last minute. And I think if they did leave this as a season on Disney+, Plus, it would have been better because there's probably a lot of deleted scenes and things they had to cut out to shave down the runtime to make it a movie and to make it work narratively as a film. Now, look, I think the voice performances are great. Ali Kovalo is great as Moana. I probably said that wrong, but she's great as Moana. Her singing voice is great. She does a good job. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, is back as Maui. He's great in the film as well, but what they do with his character just sort of felt like he's in there because we need Maui again. So he's just, you know, his role isn't as important as it was in the original film. The story, the stakes should have felt a lot stronger as they do. I just feel like the movie sort of feels like an afterthought and sort of forgettable in a sense. The movie certainly isn't as emotionally impactful as the first one. And I think that the, the characters, like the new characters that they add that she's got to go on this mission with, some of them are more forgettable than others. There's a pretty terrible song that they sing it's like the friend song in the movie and that i i did not care for that song at all and the music in the film as a whole is just not as good as the music in the original lin-manuel miranda did not return to do the music for this you have mark mancina returning to do the score which is good but at the same time the songs are what was most notable about that first movie and you have nothing as good as any of the songs in that original film. You have two songs that I liked. The rest of the songs I didn't really care for. And the songs that I like, the titles of them, I believe, are Beyond and Can I Get a Chi Hu, which is Maui's song, which I liked. It's not anywhere as near as good as You're Welcome from the first film, but it's good. Dwayne Johnson is doing what he can, and he's giving the energy he can into this movie. And so is Ali Cravalo as Moana, but at the same time, the screenplay just doesn't do enough to add anything new to the film. The film doesn't have as big of a heart as the original did. This very much felt to me like, okay, we've got to do something for Moana, and originally their plan was, you know what, let's put on Disney+, Plus. let's do a season because we're going to make shows for everything it seems and you know they said wait a minute we need to put another movie out and our last few films haven't been doing that great wish strange world didn't do great at the box office and they said you know what let's make a close to a billion dollars or a billion dollars with moana 2 it's a sure bet so let's turn this season uh, into a movie. And that's what it feels like. So in that sense, it just feels like, hey, we had to do a sequel and this is it. You know, we're adding the things you liked and the elements you liked from the first movie, but it's it's just not as good. Is this a bad film? No, I don't think this is a bad movie, but I think it's extremely mediocre and I think it's extremely average. And I didn't really like it all that much, even though I thought it was okay, but I didn't think it was great. And it certainly didn't live up to the hype is that original movie. Is this as bad as it could have been? No, but it's, like I said, not that great either. The animation is beautiful, but it's got that bigger aspect ratio because I'm sure it was, you know, was 
supposed to be put on Disney Plus. That original film has the, I believe, the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so it's more of a widescreen. This will fill your whole TV. But um, not that that really matters. Does the movie have a villain? Look, the first movie didn't really have a villain. Taka, Lava Monster, I guess, was the villain of that film. And the villain of this movie is is the, the storm, is the sky, is the weather, in a sense. Um, you have another villain sort of lurking in the background of this but i just thought the story was very underdeveloped and it just sort of felt like an afterthought after leaving it and uh, i can't see this as one that i'm going to be rewatching like that original moana film so in the end of the day look i wasn't really a big fan of it i don't think it's bad but i don't think it's all that great either moana 2 gets a three out of five stars for me right in the middle of the road on it so i think this is going to make a boatload of money though i mean people are going to go to see this movie because the first film was just so successful and the characters look the character of moana and maui in the movie they're good and the actors are, are doing what they can it's just the story and the songs and just the whole thing didn't really work as well for me as i would have hoped so that's my thoughts on moana 2 guys comment down below what did you think about the film do you plan on seeing it did you see it already don't forget to hit that subscribe button for a bunch of reviews coming in the future including a bunch of big award type films coming out we've got reviews for gladiator 2 and wicked up on the channel now and as promised i'm going to share my top 10 favorite Disney Animation Studios films. I thought about it for a little bit, and I think I'm pretty pretty happy with this list and pretty confident with this list. So going down the line, at number 10, I have Cinderella. At number 9, Moana, the original Moana film. At number 8 is Tarzan. Number 7, Sleeping Beauty. Number 6, Aladdin. Number 5, the original that started it all, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. At number 4, The Little Mermaid. Number three, The Lion King. Number two, Beauty and the Beast. And number one, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I think Beauty and the Beast is probably the best animated film ever made. Hunchback of Notre Dame, I have it one. I feel like they can interchange, you know, the, the two and one spots. But I'm pretty confident. But Hunchback for me is just something that I've always held near and dear to my heart. And uh, maybe when that celebrates its 30th, 30th anniversary in 2026. I'll be talking about that in two years. But yeah, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming in the future. Of course, we've got the got the shirt, the custom shirt made for the film. Their last few films haven't really been doing it for me. Strange World was just a politically correct mess, and Wish was not as strong as they probably would have hoped as their celebration for their 100th anniversary. So that's about it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching my review for Moana 2. And until next time, over and out.